So, Ghoul's a good friend of mine, and he furiously resisted the urge to mention Broly Legs. So now I'll mention Broly Legs. Broly Legs has arthrogryposis. Basically, his brain doesn't cause his muscles to grow in the right way, and thus he does not have control over his limbs the way a normal person would. And he plays fighting games on a pro level with his face. He uses a combination of controller modifications as well as quirks of the mechanics in fighting games to be able to play them. The way the input parser, for example, works allows you to overlap a three-button press with a one-button press and get a different press out of it. And a lot of times when we bring up accessibility options, people like to bring up Brawly Legs as an example that you can be good at a game despite your disabilities no matter what. Not saying Ghoul did this, but this is an argument that often comes up. And that is true. Humans are amazing. Many people overcome their disabilities every day. But Brawly Legs actually struggled with Street Fighter 4 because there were certain inputs he just couldn't do. He made it work, but there were areas of the game that were cut off from him because they didn't work with his option select mapped controls. And while he still plays at a pro level, there's a problem with that. He's an example of someone who overcame his disability, yet he's still being hampered by how the game interacts with his disability. And does that mean we need to fix games or blah blah blah? We shouldn't really look at it as fix. What we should look at it is a strive for equality. Because Brawly is playing at a pro level, and someone who doesn't have his physical limitations is playing at a pro level, but I guarantee you that they didn't put the same amount of effort into being good. There are challenges that Brawly Legs had to overcome, both his physical limitations and problems with how the game is coded and how that interacts with his physical limitations, which gives the person without those physical limitations an advantage, a huge advantage. And in our strive for equality among people, let alone gamers, shouldn't we be striving to make that advantage less pronounced? Like, Brawly Legs trained his ass off way harder than a normal person would have to to get to where he is. And in the end, this comes down to the question, do you think disabled people should have to train three times, five times, ten times, however many times more hard than a normal person to get results because of their disability? And I think a lot of people would argue that if we are aiming for equality among gamers, among people that we should try to make that training process as equal as we can. There always will be differences because of differences in physical ability, but if you can reduce those differences, then you make the playing field more equal for everyone. And that is one of the major arguments for accessibility options.